What's up everyone? We got something real special for you today. We're gonna print our own fishing lure. All right, here we are in the lab. Look at this, it's so cool. Everything in here, there's, what, four printers in here? I think, yeah, there's three right now that we can, that are available for use. And a couple more being set up. All this stuff is printed, look at this. That was printed. This is printed, you can see all the all the layers in there. Here's a printer. We're working on this one. There's another printer. their little design. Here's another printer that's working. And all this is the material to use to print. Look at this. This is printed. all the layers there. That was printed pretty damn cool. And I'll stay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's going on here, James? Well, today we're printing a couple uh, four-inch minnow lures. Um, right now we're printing from uh, white PLA, which is a biodegradable plastic material. So we're just kind of at the final steps here. But what That's you do so is, crazy. yeah, just import the model into some software. The software slices it up and it prints it out in very, very thin layers. Wow. And then you said this one already has the weights in there? Yeah, this one's already got some lead weights in there. So the model has little hollowed out spaces and then you just pause the print halfway through, drop in the little lead weights, and uh, that'll give it a little bit of rattle, a little bit extra weight towards the front. Yeah. Can I see the model that was on your phone? Or yeah, sure. you can pull it up over here. Yeah, so this is the model. So this is in the, this is the layers as they will be printed. So it has this base here, right? And it gets printed up like this. Yeah. Right. But. This is what the solid model looks like in the 3D modeling software. Yeah, it looks just like an SP Mino. Right? With the two little holes on the bottom and a hole here at the back and at the front as well. Ooh. So you can do all sorts of stuff too. Like um, you can, you know, scale it up and down, right? So mm. you can make it bigger or smaller. Yeah. Uh, you can rotate it around, right? So if you want to change the orientation of the model, you can do that. So it's awesome. This is where all the planning stages happen. Nice. So we're gonna print a four-inch minnow as well as a six-inch minnow, right? Think we'll do, yeah, maybe five-inch minnow depending five inch. on how much time we've got and how they're looking. So cool. 
So there's a bunch of different plastics that you can use. Some of them are biodegradable. PLA, there's ABS, which is super hard, PETG, and then there's another one that's a little more flexible. That's what this one is using, PCTPE. Sorry to it this way. Highly flexible nylon. And so we're using a material called PLA. And here you could design it to have different types of densities. And so here at 0%, looks like that, there's basically no infill. And once you get to 25%, you can see that it starts having this infill and there's this lattice pattern here. And at, let's see, even at 50%, it looks filled in and blocked. At 100%, which is right here, it's basically completely dense. There are no holes. And this thing is pretty strong. I'm like trying to flex it here. It's it's really good. It's it's really strong. It's not gonna work. So check this out. There's a website called Thingiverse, and on this website, it's a community where people can post whatever they design for 3D printing, and they post up all the files and those files you could download and then load them onto the software uh, Cura and essentially that's it and you could modify it to your own liking if you'd like but everything on Thingiverse is designed by other people and uh, and it's a resource that you could use to essentially 3d print anything you want let's check it out look at this so this is the website Thingiverse right and so here you could basically search anything you want here I mean you could search say I don't know World Cup right here and people have made and printed a bunch of stuff relating to the World Cup like this I don't know soccer shoe here this is printed and so then they have all these files on here download all files let's see thing files Right, they have these STL files that you could download and then plug into a software called Cura. This is an open source 3D printing software and you could plug this into Cura and then Cura is plugged into your 3D printer and then basically you could tell the printer to, to print whatever is there, you know, uh, whatever design you have. So for us, and so for us, we want to search fishing lures, right? And so here you can see that people have designed a bunch of different fishing lures. Look at this one, super cool, this crankbait one. Let's take a look at it. And so this is 3D printed, it's crazy, right? And then they've you know done whatever they did, they wanted to do to it, they painted it. Obviously it looks, looks amazing to me. And it's printed in two halves. And then these two halves are designed a specific way in which they have this cavity here you can throw in a bunch of BBs and weights to make it rattle and make it a little heavier if you wanted to um, and then they also have these loops at the end so you could attach hooks and whatnot and people have shown that they could even catch fish with them pretty pretty damn cool to me uh, and, and even down here people you know have shown that all right they made that and caught fish with them pretty cool and so yeah they describe here um, what they're using you know they said it's printed in two halves then glued together use super glue there's three pieces of filament pretty cool pretty crazy but uh, but all this is here and then you know like I said there's STL files that you could download and then plug it into Cura and and really here you can see there's all types of stuff you could design molds molds to 3d print a mold like this and then you could pour in you know your plastics for swim baits and stuff like that I'd um, probably I might do that in the future something pretty pretty simple pretty easy really really cool
and like I said, this is a community, so everyone, you know, puts this up for free. They've designed this, and they're proud of it, and they're happy to share it. Look at this. I mean, you can make these things jointed so they can move. Printed in two halves, and then held together by some wires, it looks like. And, and it moves. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Well, this is what James sent me. This is our minnow, and, and Windows has, you know, can open these STL files. Oh, whoa, I didn't mean to draw on that. But, uh, yeah, then you can rotate them and then take a look at them here to see, you know, to check out your design. But yeah, all right, let's get right back to the to the actual printing. So we're gonna go ahead and start things now. Do you think you made it for over there? Yeah. Oh, he's at Mission Bay. Um, you can just um, you know you, you know what you can do is um, you can. So we're starting now. Um, yeah. So the three D printer is gonna go through uh, cleaning stage. So it's going to first start by pressing that little button and then it's going to wipe off the nozzle of any of the PLA left over from the last run. And then it's going to go through an auto leveling process so that it makes sure that the platform is totally level so that in case you bump it or whatever. And then after it's gone through that auto leveling process, the nozzle will back up and then it'll start printing. Done printing. It looks like it has layers there. Alright, here's the, one of the finished products, and then James here is going to scrape it off. And it's adhered with glue, so that's why it's sticking so well right now. Yeah. That's how it looks when it's all printed and done. Yeah, it was so lot that we have to scrape off. Oh yeah, it just snaps right off. I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and wet sand it down. There's a finished product. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Just a little rattle, which is what we want. It's a prototype, but hey, we'll try it out. There we go. Wow, that's light. It's like 10 grams? Yeah, less. Wow, so that's less than, uh, less than half an ounce. Okay, this is like half an ounce, exactly. Cool. Oh yeah, that, then the big one, here's a five incher. That one should be, oh yeah, that's like an ounce. Wow, it's perfect. All right, here's the final product. Uh, we didn't 
painted it or anything, but got the hooks on and we're gonna check out how it looks in the water. There it is, I see it in the water. This one looks like it's, yeah, this one, oh well, it's still sideways. That's the thing, it's, it's sideways, but it has the action for sure. Some decent action. So similar movement, actually, no, this one moves, yeah, this moves way better, actually, see that back and forth movement like that? That's what our lure should be looking like. This one floats, but, yeah. but then when you start moving it, that movement yeah, looks really good. That's good. Yeah, that's what we should aim for. What fish wouldn't want to eat that little thing? Look at that. All shiny. Uh, it's just like an anchovy, really. Test out this lure. James has a three-quarter ounce with a little grub on there. And so, printed lure, tested, and tried and true lure. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 